All right, I'm on my third and last of the three horses, and I'll be working on his uh, skull today, and uh, we'll see how far I can get. Time to play with some clay. By the way, if you can get a pair of leveraged wire clippers like these, it's really good for really tough wire. Uh, of course, this one is really filthy. It needs to be cleaned so bad. I think I'm going to take time out right now to do that. It's literally got clay from... I couldn't tell you how many sculptures... <laughs> on it. So I got it all cleaned off. <laughs> I can actually see metal again. It's windy outside, and it's getting ready to storm.
All right. I've got this uh, skull far enough along to where I can do a little more detailing when I come to it uh, as I work on the uh, J Mac clay part. This is a ma this is all monster clay here, and I just used it as a kind of like a base for base clay for the uh, J Mac clay because it'll hold its shape better uh, when I start uh, putting muscles on and stuff like that. Um, I'll be uh, going to Bozeman sometime this week. I don't know if it'll be tomorrow or the next day, but uh, a guy have to go. So I'll uh, put this aside and put my monster clay aside and start getting my uh, J-Mac clay warmed up. All right, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Uh, have a great night, and I'll see you when I see you. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.